so we are going to understand next the pressure due to liquid how liquid exerts pressure write down the heading pressure due to liquids okay see when you talk about the three different states of matter solid liquid and gas the gaseous particle exerts pressure exerts pressure due to collision and that we have already discussed when the two gases particles are moving they collide and the force per unit area that we have there is called the pressure right so it the gases particles exerts pressure because of collision they collide correct if you talk about a solid the solid particles exerts pressure due to its mass table here right suppose you have a table here and on this table if you place a block of certain mass like this okay this is suppose 5 kg is if it was 2 kg mass we have here so the weight component of this mass of 5 plus 2 7 kg here that is mg this force that is acting on the block like in downward direction which is there on the table right so this force per unit area on this table is the pressure on the table by the block that is 5 plus 2 7 kg block right so this exerts pressure because of its mass correct we can also add some block over here the pressure will be more because it has more mass so solid exerts pressure due to its mass when you talk about liquids it exerts pressure pressure due to due to its height or depth also we can say whatever depth okay have you seen this formula i want you to respond all of you have you seen this formula before p is equals to h rho g i'll write down this for just a second p is equals to rho g h have you seen this formula correct what is this rho g h means rho is the density of the liquid h is the height and g is the gravitational pull how do we get this formula you know that the derivation of it okay fine quickly we'll go through it see what happens as the height of the liquid increases suppose you are at this position and this side you have liquids correct so at this point you know you'll have certain pressure because of this column it's not the water that is below you we have nothing to do with this the water which is above you whatever the height of this water column we have this height will exert pressure correct so here we'll have more height right then the pressure will be more if you go up the pressure will decrease go up the pressure will decrease the pressure will decrease correct so as you go deeper into the sea the height of the water column above you increases and hence pressure also increases right that's why you see when you go you know deeper like 50 60 feet if you go randomly i'm taking some number right not very sure with it but after a certain depth you know the divers they starts bleeding from the nose 
because the pressure is continuously increasing on his body right that's why that you know it's very it's it, it becomes very difficult to you know go beyond a certain point into the sea or river or whatever it is because gradually the height of the liquid column is increasing and hence the pressure on you is also increasing that's why it becomes difficult okay so liquid column exerts height because of its pressure okay so based on this formula we are we are going to use this formula only how do we get this formula quickly we'll see this and what kind of problems you are going to get get that we'll discuss correct so now you see so we are going to uh, you know discuss a device that is barometer which we use to measure pressure write down into this write down it is an instrument which is used to measure it is an instrument which is used to measure pressure of liquids used to measure pressure of liquids comma in barometer in barometer the marker the liquid which is used is mercury the liquid which is used is mercury correct why we use mercury because it is non sticky plus it has very high density volume is less so it occupy less volume right so why we use mercury because it is non sticky the volume is less because of its high density write down now you see this suppose we have an arrangement we have a or oh, you know beaker like this correct this is filled with mercury for example okay this is filled with mercury g and if you place a tube like this with open end downward place a tube like this then what happens this mercury column will rise in the tube and it goes to a certain height right suppose this height i am assuming h it goes to a certain height and it depends upon the atmospheric pressure okay we'll discuss why and how but obviously when the open end you will put it down then the mercury column will rise in the tube and we have this arrangement here now could you tell me the relation of pressure at point p and it's the same level and q this is p and q p and q are at the same level the pressure at p and q is what same pressure okay so we can write at the same level because the depth is same height is same the pressure at p and q would be equal and same right so because of liquid the pressure varies only when the depth of the liquid is different it is same for these two points hence the pressure here would be same first point 
could you tell me this point is suppose i am assuming a exactly at the surface of this liquid a and here the point is b i am assuming the pressure at a and b will also be same right okay yeah what is the pressure at a since it is open so p at a is nothing but the atmospheric pressure okay it means it is the pressure at b also now this liquid column hg column will rise in this tube and will go to a certain height because we know as the height increases its pressure increases so height of this column if you consider at this point when this pressure of this column equals to the atmospheric pressure that is a pressure at b then it won't you know go further the rise the rise in the height will not be there once the pressure of this liquid column equals to the pressure at b isn't it right yes correct understood so can i write this the pressure due to liquid column due to hg column i'll write down in the tube equals to the pressure at b which is nothing but the atmospheric pressure okay now you see this part i am drawing it separately here because we need to balance it the force we must be equal so this the liquid column will have here suppose we are assuming this this is the hg column we have exactly this part i have taken over here assume this so obviously this will have certain mass so its mass component is mg in downward direction right and this pressure will exert in upward direction p atmospheric that is the pressure at b into the area of cross section this is the force in upward direction right this b will exert pressure p atmospheric into the area of cross section becomes a force in upward direction and weight component is in downward direction no doubt in this at equilibrium what we can write we can write this force in upward direction equals to the force in downward direction okay m is a mass g is a acceleration due to gravity so p atmospheric into a mass of the liquid obviously we can take so density into volume this is for hg into g any doubt here further what we can write that atmospheric pressure p atm into area of cross section equals to rho density into volume would be what again area into height of the liquid column this is for the liquid which is hg here we have into the gravitational acceleration and then this a and a will get cancel and the atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is equals to we have rho g h where this height is the height of liquid column and this rho is the density of liquid sorry mercury anybody has any doubt in this
clear now for any liquid of height h and density rho we can give the pressure as rho g h for any liquid it's a general thing rho g h now since we know that atmospheric pressure so we can find out the height of the mercury column what height of the mercury column exerts pressure which is equal to the atmospheric pressure so when you substitute all the value here right you will get the height of the mercury column h of hg is equals to 76 cm means if you take 76 cm of mercury column it will exerts a pressure of which is equals to the atmospheric pressure that's why we say that atmospheric pressure is equals to 76 cm of hg or 760 mm of hg okay like that means 76 cm of height of liquid hg is one atmospheric pressure any doubt in this yes all of you you can type in clr quickly guys okay so what we have concluded pressure due to liquid of height h is equals to rho g h okay sometimes what happens if you look at this arrangement here we have a column and suppose we are having a liquid here in this beaker okay and there is an again tube with open and down like this okay so obviously this liquid level will rise in the tube this is it and we'll have some gas over here some gases some gas here in this tube is trapped okay this gas here is trapped so this point is a this point is b right so we have pa is equals to pb is equals to p atmospheric right p atmospheric and if you write down the relation of pressure so pb is equals to what on this pb on this point this liquid will exert pressure and the gas will also exert pressure so pb is equals to pressure of the liquid whatever liquid we have plus the pressure of the gas right this is a relation we can write if any gas is trapped so if they ask you to find out the pressure of the gas in this case right pb is the atmospheric pressure p liquid you know because the height and other things will be given and then you can find out the pressure of the gas the basically you need to understand that how to write down the pressure uh, relation here pb is here above it we have liquid so this pressure will be in downward direction this gas will also exerts pressure in downward direction and b is in upward direction so pb is equals to p liquid plus k p gas did you understand this yeah now based on this only you see few questions
ओके This is open and up, open and down, uh, and again open and up. So the question here is, we have fifteen centimeter of liquid column here. Hg, fifteen centimeter of Hg we have, and here some gases are trapped. okay you need to find out the pressure of gas density of mercury rho of hg is 13.6 g per ml in this we have 10 cm of mercury 10 cm and here some gases are trapped you need to again find out the pressure of gas here okay here also we have some liquid trapped we don't know about this liquid but the density of this liquid is given the height is h and the density of this liquid is given rho is equals to 6.8 g per ml for this side here we have gas we need to find out the pressure of the gas try all three
Yeah, done. Because if you place it in a centimeter of HG, you don't have to place in Pascal. You also won't get such options, okay? What happened guys? Okay, so I'll do this first one. Let's see. See here what happens. We have a pressure here, this liquid column and this, and we have atmospheric pressure in downward direction. Correct. So atmospheric pressure is this P atm. What is the direction of this liquid column? Is it upward or downward? Upward or downward? Liquid column? Hello? Are you there? Because of this liquid column, the pressure is in downward direction or upward direction? I have already told you, yeah, I have already told you that the height, the pressure because of liquid is the liquid which is above, right? So this liquid column, 15 centimeter of it will exert pressure in downward direction. And the pressure of gas is in upward direction, right? So if you balance this, what you can write? P atm in downward direction, pressure of Hg, in downward direction equals to the pressure of gas in upward direction. Any problem in this? Tell me. Any doubt, any problem? Please go ahead. See, you just need to know the direction of the pressure here. What is the direction of gaseous pressure? What is the direction of liquid column? What is the direction of atmospheric pressure? So atmospheric pressure is always in downward direction. I am also sitting here, that atmospheric pressure on me, right? It is there in downward direction. So if you have a liquid column here, the atmosphere will also exert pressure in downward direction. Right, because it is there in up, above only, so it will exert pressure in downward direction. So pressure of atmosphere is in downward direction. Liquid column, we know it exerts pressure because of its height. So this height we have, so it exerts pressure on this gas. See, actually what happens when this liquid column is trapped, right? Suppose liquid column will have here like this, if you can see me, this is a liquid column we have, and it will be here, when this pressure and this pressure is equal. Are you getting it? Correct. Obviously, this also contributes into the downward pressure. The liquid column also contributes. But suppose I, when I say the liquid column is trapped here, like this, in between somewhere, like it is trapped here. So when it will be trapped? When this pressure, total downward pressure is equal to total upward pressure, right? So gas is pushing the liquid column in upward direction. Atmospheric pressure is pushing the liquid column in downward direction. Liquid column also exerting pressure on the gaseous species or the gas which is present here. So total pressure in this direction equals to the total pressure in this direction and then only will have the equilibrium. Are you getting it now? Yes. Tell me guys fast. Yes or no? If you understood, fine. Otherwise, let me know. I can explain you 10 times all these things. Okay, I have no problem. But you have to you know, speak up. All of you understood? 
I'm not doing anything. I'm just balancing the force. When you, to, when you balance the force, total force, yes, correct. So force, the cross-sectional area will get canceled, Shraddha. You balance the force only, the cross-sectional area is same. You see in that, that expression, all that you have calculated, the area gets canceled, right? So you balance the force, pressure into area. This is the force because of atmosphere, right? This into A, it is a force because of the liquid column. Pressure of gas into A, it is a force because of the gaseous column. So cross-sectional area will get cancelled. And hence, we are left with the pressure. Clear? So I understood this. Right? So you will get this. Now, everything you know. We know the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter of Hg. We know this. And plus 15 centimeter of Hg is also present. Plus 15 centimeter. The pressure of Hg is what? Because we have only 15 centimeter of Hg. So we have 70, 76 centimeter upward plus 15 centimeter this. So total pressure is this equals to the pressure of gas. So pressure of gas equals to 91 centimeter of Hg. Tell me, is it clear? Yes. Now, one more thing you try to understand very carefully. Okay. See, I have just added this PATM and PHG 76 plus 1591. Okay. Why? Because this column is mercury, right? And we know the atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter of mercury only. So since the atmospheric pressure is defined with respect to mercury, so whatever height of mercury column you have here, you can directly add with 76. But if you have any other liquid here, then you cannot add this. In that case, you have to think again. In that case, you have to think again that if this is the height of the liquid given, this liquid will exert some pressure. The what should be the height of the mercury column, which exerts the same pressure as this liquid is doing. Right. So in case of another liquid, which is the case number three, we'll discuss this, how to do. But first you try this one, the second one. Yes. Low Hg in that case you need to take. Yes, Archit, fine. Which one you are talking about, Shraddha? No, no, no. See, Shatha, it depends. Uh, you cannot add here pHg and pressure of the gas. You cannot do that. Because the direct C, if the liquid, if this liquid and the gas, if, if both exerts pressure in upward direction, then you can add the two. But here the liquid column is exerting pressure in downward direction. Gaseous, gas exerts pressure in upward direction. So both are in opposite direction. You cannot add pHg and P gas here. That's what I'm telling you. You have to balance the force first, then you'll get the relation of pressure. Achha, the liquid one. Yes, for that you need to find out H rho G and then you have to find out the height of the uh, you know, Hg column which exerts the same pressure. Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. This one I'll see first, then I'll go to the third one. See here the liquid column, liquid column exerts pressure in which direction? Downward direction, obviously. 
right? So P of HD in down downward direction. Pressure of gas is also in downward direction. But the atmospheric pressure is in upward direction because the atmospheric pressure will hold this liquid column here, right? So we'll write down the uh, relation here, P atmospheric, one second. We have P atmospheric equals to P Hg plus P of gas. So P of gas equals to 76 minus 10, 66 centimeter of Hg. Okay. In the last one you see, it is given density 6.8. Obviously this liquid height column is not mercury. So here, if you look at the pressure, the pressure of atmosphere is in downward P ATM. Pressure of this liquid, we don't know what liquid it is. It is in downward and pressure of gas it is in upward direction. So we'll write down the pressure of gas equals to the pressure of atmospheric plus the pressure of liquid. Now this liquid column is given, its density is 6.8. So pressure of liquid is what? Is equals to rho G H. Okay. And remember one thing always that P ATM is 76 centimeter of HG. But since this liquid is not HG, so if you directly add this 10 cent, this whatever the height we have, if we add this here, this will be wrong because this liquid is not HG. So we cannot add height of this liquid with the height of mercury column here. So this we are not going to do here. Now, what we need to do next then? See, we have this height of liquid. This will, this height of liquid will exert some pressure. Which pressure is this? Okay. Now we'll find out that what should be the height of the mercury column, right? Which exerts the same pressure as this height of this liquid does, exerts, correct? So what we have done, we have taken this pressure of this liquid and we equate this with certain height of mercury. This is the pressure of mercury we have. So with this two relation you see, we'll find out what height of the mercury column is required so that the mercury column exerts the same pressure as this liquid column exerts. So that would be the rho of liquid into the height of liquid divided by the rho of Hg. This is what the formula we use in order to find out the height of the mercury column, which exerts the same pressure as H height of this liquid exerts. Did you understand this? Any doubt in this? So first of all, we'll find out this height of mercury column and then this height will add over here. So for this, this formula you can memorize, it is useful for all the questions, okay? In general, you can memorize this formula. H of Hg, is 6.8, the density of that liquid given, 10 centimeter height, and it is 13.6. So obviously it is coming out to be five centimeter of Hg. This means what? That 10 centimeter of this liquid, 10 centimeter of this liquid, and five centimeter of Hg will exert the same pressure, correct? So here we'll simply add five centimeter so answer is 91 centimeter of Hg. Any doubt in this? Tell me. Oh yeah, 81, correct. Yeah. Okay, look at this again. 
and let me know if you have any doubt. Just you need to balance the pressure, total pressure in downward direction equals to the total pressure in upward direction. Balance the two, you will get the unknowns. Copy this down. Yes, done. It's given in the question. Is it not given? Oh, wait, let me check. Acha, height of the liquid I haven't given you, I guess. Acha, wait, let me check this just a second. Oh, it is not, I have not written over here. Fine, my bad guys. This height of the liquid is given 10 centimeter. Okay, that's why I have taken this. Whatever height, you just have to substitute and find out this. My bad, okay? This height is given right down here. This edge is given over here. It is 10 centimeter. Okay? Fine, got it? Understood? Okay. Yeah, let's see this question, the another one. You can, like this, you can have multiple liquids, like more than two, three, four liquids can be given. Like you see this question. Concept is, is exactly same. You have uh, this tube. And we have any three liquids we have here. We do not know L1, L2, L3, and here we have gas. Okay, this height H1 of the first liquid is given, it is 80 centimeter. H2 is given, it is 20 centimeter. H3 is given, 50 centimeter. Rho of this first liquid is, density is 3.4. Rho of this is 6.8. Rho of the third one is 27.2 gram per ml is the unit. You need to find out the pressure of this gas.
Yeah, Archie, that's correct. Yeah, this end is open. This is open end. Right, Archit, correct. No, that's not right. 461 is wrong. 156 is wrong. 226 is wrong. Yeah, Kinshuk, that's right. 130 is wrong. Yeah, Ritu, that's right. Correct, Rohan. So Rohan, Ritu, Kinshuk, Arshit, you got the right answer. You must be doing, doing some calculation mistake. Ruchita, Vaibhav, check your calculation once. See, what we need to do again, corresponding to this height, okay, what should be the height of the mercury column which exerts the same pressure? So with that formula, we can directly find out. Okay, so for the first liquid, H of Hg should be 80 into 3.4 divided by 13.6. So this is 20 centimeter, I guess. Similarly, for the second liquid, the corresponding height of the mercury column would be 6.8 density, 20 centimeter is the height divided by 13.6. This we are getting 10 centimeter of it. H of Hg for the third liquid is 50 into 27.2 divided by 13.6 equals to 100 centimeter of it. Okay. And all these liquid will exert pressure in downward direction. Means what? And instead of these three liquid, we can place HG column of height 20 plus 10 plus 100. That is 130 centimeter. Means this height of the three liquid is equivalent to 130 centimeter of HG. So this 130 centimeter of HG, the pressure is in downward direction. Pressure of gas is in upward atmospheric pressure in downward direction. So what we can write, we can write P atmospheric plus P of Hg equals to P of gas. So 76 plus 130 is equals to P of gas. So pressure of gas equals to pressure of gas equals to 206 centimeter of Hg. Tell me, is it clear? Pressure of gas, see, uh, Shraddha, you tried, it's logical, you can understand. See, you have gas, correct. Here you have gas, and there is some liquid column here. So obviously this liquid column has natural tendency to come down. If you remove this gas, this liquid column will come down completely, right? So you have this liquid column, which has tendency to come down, and this gas will exert pressure in upward direction. This gas only won't let the liquid column to come down, right? Hence, this, this gas will hold the liquid like this, so it will exert pressure in upward direction, and liquid has tendency to come down. Hence, the pressure of gas is in upward direction. Now you see all of you have got the answer. Fine, so this kind of very basic questions you will get to find out the pressure of the liquid. So I guess all of you have understood this properly, okay, how to do this kind of questions, okay. So this formula that we have done here, this formula you must remember because in the exam, when you get the question, they won't give you simply mercury liquid over there. Okay. 
हाँ दिस वन दिस फॉर्मूला यू मस्ट कीप इन माइंड एनी वट आई डन दिस इज सी मेड मिस्टेक ओवर हाइट ऑफ एच जी एनी लिक्विड इफ इट इज नॉट मकरी ऑफ अ सर्टन हाइट ओके corresponding to this height what should be the height of the mercury column which exerts the same pressure so h of hg rho into h of that liquid divided by rho of mercury this is the formula we have and this is what we have used here so anyway so this is done uh, you know for this chapter we are done all these things okay i hope you understood this properly okay fine so this chapter is over we'll take a break now and after the break we'll start hydrogen okay hydrogen and its compounds theoretical theoretical chapter we'll do it quickly okay you have to read ncert throughout for this okay so take a break now we'll resume the class at 6:45 okay we'll start with hydrogen correct yes take a break 6:45 we'll resume 